going to be the most nerfed character in the game. He's going to get the DVD treatment. Know, but I, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so going into game one here at PS2, it's a, it, it is the team comps we talked about before, Lucina Palu and uh, Inkling Lucina. Both of these teams, very good at covering all options in terms of uh, having multiple ledge traps and forcing really good edge guards. So we're going to be seeing very similar team concepts between both of them. It looks like an already red team opened up quite a bit of a lead. They got stage control almost immediately out the gate. Although Nairo, not looking too hot on the stock, is taking quite a bit of damage. And but, uh, it, reciprocating uh, from Jen there, he's keeping Cosmos over at the ledge. Jen is actually a really strong player over in NY area, so I'm sure they already know they're not going to sleep on his abilities to, to edge guard. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to be seeing more 2v1s coming in against Max purely to force Jen to have to approach and not allow Max to play the, the setback and keep him safe game. Yeah, and already saw Max dropping that first stock. Unfortunate for the for the blue team already falling behind. But the percentage is starting to rack up on the red team. They're still within striking distance. Here. They're able to make some plays to like make it happen. I like the fact that Nairo just backed off there a second ago. He saw that Cosmos pushed him towards the left-hand side. Now he's going to set up a bad spot, but Jen's going to lose his first blood. And red team doing a good job yet again of holding on to these stocks. Yeah, red team opening up the lead. Every hit now at this point is a bonus damage and going to establish more dominance in the match. Uh, there's Nairo dropping his first stock. Yeah, Jen all eyes are on Cosmos overall, if he's going to hold on to it and keep the lead going. I like the fact that Jen was just really waiting patiently for where Nairo was going to go. It's like, all right, you plan to go deep. You can avoid uh, my explosive flame. Cool. You are not expecting this ledge trump. Nairo's probably not going to fall for that this next time around, but it's up to Jen to set up that situation again. Yeah, some big board smashes coming out, and there goes Cosmos' stock. And it's, you know, it's they're down for cents. He's got to get the wheels turning, make, some, make up some big damage. It's not out of reach for the blue team. Yeah, this is that ledge guarding, uh, the trapping that I was talking about before. Both the blue team being stuck off ledge. You saw Nairo holding the platform, keeping jump out, and just letting Cosmos play his game. Like, all right, every time you jump at me, I'm just going to push you off. And that up smash is going to take it out in the wow. upper as well. Cosmos and with the double kill. Big damage, big combos, and man, it's looking you know, like a commanding lead for the red team, unfortunately, for the blues. It's exactly what you said before. Let Nairo go in, uh, go in and push them towards Cosmos. Let Cosmos seal the deal. And it's been very, very successful blueprint be uh, between them so far. Yeah, there have been a couple situations where, you know, I can see Max, the wheels turning in his head as a doubles player. I got to cover Jen, but it just doesn't happen because Nairo's in between them, and Nairo's so good at keeping his opponents out of the game. Oh, but oh. he was actually able to play around the, the pressure that Cosmos was trying to put out there, knew he was holding shield on approach too much, and Max is going to actually take out a stock. That yeah, was very Wiley, needed. The Wily veteran says, hold on, let me uh, take your shield real quick. Oh, uh, double up smashes. Photo finish right there. They're like up smash and coordination. The fireworks are going off. Red team takes that first game, no problem. Yeah, Co Cosmos uh, remembering, like, you know what? How can I make this feel like it's a 3v2 game? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to place paint all across this <laughs> and slow you down. And I actually got caught by it, and that's going to cause them to lose the game one. All right, so let's see. You know, as we were mentioning, blue team, you know, they looked like they had solid fundamental plays. You can tell that we're starting to get further into the bracket. But we need to start looking at it as if. Is Max going to be able to support and you know help out his uh, help out his teammate? I think a big thing that they should probably aim for is pick a, get a smaller stage. I didn't see which one they just picked a second ago, uh, but just close the gap more. They yeah. were being separated too much by Red Team, and they really couldn't hold their own the same way. If you could force one of the two off stage and then go two v one the other, it'll probably work. And they opted to go to Battlefield, which I think is part of their game plan. Yeah, try to get some more platforms. Palutena and Lucina are both very strong on Battlefield overall. But already, red team has the blue team in trouble. Cosmos looking like a monster. Hey, Cosmos sniped a couple jumps over there, but on the other side, it's reciprocating where uh, Jen has actually got the ledge trap game from Nairo. So, very even game so yeah. far. And, uh, <laughs> maybe missed the opportunity to heavy punish Max. You got the rogue dolphin slash. Well, good cancel uh, there, Cosmos but unfortunately for... Uh, yeah, you know, you had to early up be there no matter what, and hoping maybe Jen could get there fast enough right. to save you, but Cosmos' edge guards have been on fire so far today. Yeah, really starting to come into his own. People have, you know, whispers he's a top 10 player. Was not really in the early games showing it, but definitely in the last last month or so, definitely coming out and showing it. I think, an, oh, did he catch the jump? Okay, oh, Jen actually held heat. on to his jump, but that's going to be two points coming down. You know, Nairo taking out... Uh, Cosmos as well, and then Max immediately going in and sealing the deal, and even this completely back up. Yeah, big play coming out for Max and evening up the game. That's what you need for Blue Team. They, they just got to manage the game one stock at a time. If they're within striking distance of the second stock, they're in good shape. If they're within striking distance of the last stock, 
that starts to put pressure on uh, Nairo and Cosmos overall. Exactly. Red Team's going to thrive on you trying to do too much. If you try too hard to push the initiative, actually catching him low, they see still have his jump, he does not. And Nairo cleaning it up with a swift edge guard. And it's unfortunate, especially because as soon as he, in the whole entire time he's recovering, they give Red Team time to start opening up the wheels on, uh, you know, on Palutena. And and Exactly. You know, the fact that he was gone for so long, the 2v1, you have to capitalize on that. When there's an opportunity to rack big damage, take it. But Red Team is also racking on, uh, we're taking quite a bit of damage pretty quickly. So Blue Team is doing a good job as long as Max can consistently keep his damage down like he's doing so far. Well, Team Kill, I think, right there. I think Nairo took Cosmos with a back air. Both the, <laughs> both the Cosmos uh, stocks have gone to, to Nairo. He's like, this is my show. Get out of here. Nah, just uh, making sure, just keeping him honest. Don't let, him get, <laughs> don't let his head get too big overall. I know. <laughs> Gotta keep his ego in check. Like, Cosmos, I know you think you're good, but I'm not here. Come on. <laughs> and Jen uh, going in there to cover their uh, their early up B because Max was trying to go get him down low. That was a good idea from Nairo, but Nairo going to go and use that invincibility and stuff out that stock. And again, back to even. Much yeah, better the, game two. That team kill might be playing a pivotal role because, as you said, they pretty much virtually tied it up. Um, you know, if you're trying to build an advantage, uh, the key thing in doubles is always to hold those stocks. So if your teammate's taking them, it makes it that much easier. Exactly, Blue and this stage swap, too, has really worked wonders for what we talked about before. The fact that they don't have nearly as much room to chase them down, and they're closing the gap much better, it doesn't allow Red Team to set up the way that they were before. And they have stage control now at this point. Let's see if they're able to capitalize on it. Ah, oh, good job on the Red Team. Guard breaking out of that situation. Now they have stage control overall. Early up B, Jen is floating around the side, just throwing out the nair, allowed Max to get back, preventing Nairo from being able to go off stage or potentially take a trade. And good coverage by Jen, letting Max get back. Max is trying to hold on to dear life for the stock. Well, luckily, only a dash attack punisher over there that could have potentially forced them off stage. And last thing you want is Max playing against E2 right now with this percent, but both of them also at 100 plus percent. That's uh, blue teams right in the thick of it. Max with those. Ambitious uh, Dolphin Slash right there. Uh, yeah, good. Max just run away. After you jump like that directly in front of Nairo, that's not going to be a good time. You see Nairo remaining more grounded. He's not trying to get anti aired but both of them being forced off stage yet again. Oh, now, big pick up by it. Jen. Here we go. Is it? Yeah, are we looking at a uh, potential up to the alert? All right, there it is. Start the alert. Game two goes to the underdogs. We're seeing the first match so far of the day. We talked about earlier that, you know, Max has done a good job. Throughout history, just he, he tends to cast a lot more. Jen, a very big threat in NY. There were the miscues coming in from Nairo where he killed Cosmos yeah. twice, yes. But you have to take advantage of that. You don't get those opportunities a lot against that red team, and they were able to actually get themselves on the board. Right, so yeah, we're looking at one-to-one. -one, uh, chat, get on Twitter, tell your friends. Uh, we got a game through situation brewing. Is Max Ketchum going to pull the upset of the century again in doubles overall you're gonna <laughs> with a uh, supporting cast member uh, if Max Jen. walks away with this W, you're going to see this on Twitter for quite some time. <laughs> We're going to Twitch clip it, highlight and, video uh, it. Yeah, you can't hate on him for it. The fact that, if, but at the same time, when you get Nairo and Cosmos to go into business mode, yeah. that's where we start seeing Toasty getting a whole lot of um, material, <laughs> to, material work to work with. work with, for sure. <laughs> So let's see what happens. Is Red Team going to clean it up, or are we looking at an upset coming out from the Blue Team? Game 3 is going to tell us the story. What I'm do you got? I'm actually kind of surprised at the fact that the, the Red Team, after the, the success that Blue Team had, closing the gap on a smaller stage, didn't try to run into maybe uh, a town and city. Uh -huh. But that could have been banned. I'm not sure if DSR is active in this. We'll get yeah. a clarification on that after. But at the same time, without triplads, there's only two routes you can take. And Cosmos is so good at sniping out jumps as well as Nairo. So blue team is going to have to be very careful with trying to jump at them, especially at the uh, center platform. Yeah, they're playing it even. And the interesting part is they've gone to that 1v1 style game, and blue team's holding their own, actually. You know, you usually would have expected that 1v1 type of play to favor the red team. And maybe this is where they're capitalizing, because red team does have that stage control. And red team, uh, Nairo immediately going into cover. Hard punish for the F smash, and that's going to get the kill. And you see, wow, Max actually kind of moving on the center stage there, too, to get out of Nairo's pressure. Red, pretty much dead even percent, and Max is the one who took the least amount of percent so far. Yeah, it is. He's building his team a little bit of a lead. And, oh, oh he tried to clip that out. If he got the parry, that would be what have killed. Yeah, luckily he did not get uh, punished by Cosmos there. He's able to keep his stock. Nairo's going to catch the jump, though, so he's forced to actually air dodge, and he had no other route to take there. Nairo's going to cover it. Down smash two on the tech in place. Red team going to take the lead. Yeah, game of frame and inches. Jen went off stage to try to capitalize on Nairo when he took the stock. Was not able to seal the deal, and that's kind of the difference overall. That's the big thing. You cannot let those opportunities go away. Like, you have to punish accordingly. And he still has his jump, but Nairo waiting, catching the punt. Uh, 
the top part of the teleport too, and he doesn't have a jump anymore. Max is forced to go low, but he can't save him. Yeah, he just kind of got to the scene a little bit too late, and you know that scene of the crime was just the patented Nairo edge guard that comes to know and love. That yeah, scene of crime is the best way to put that. That was. Uh, really, really well uh, placed by Nairo, and the fact that Cosmos kept Max busy, it allowed him to have that Immaculate Edge Guard, and that was yeah. really low percent that Jen lost that stock, too. Yeah, they're moving back into neutral games, but it's looking a little bit like trouble for the blue team overall. We were hoping for some sort of upset action, but Game 3 hasn't been as good as Game 2 to the blue team. Exactly, you know, I'm, I never, I'm never one to count it out yet. Like, there's always a lot of time, but when you're, you know, you have a decent amount of percent behind, and Nairo is refusing to give up his stock, and Jen's actually going to go down before he can even take it. Now Max is forced to do a 2v1 with five stocks. Yeah, we talk about it, you know, the, up, the recipe upset, or the upset recipe for the uh, underdog team is always to make some big plays and keep the pressure on the top players, but sometimes the top players come out and make big plays too. <laughs> and we yeah. got the volley here. You see Max has been doing a decent job of not taking too much damage until that volley. Now he's forced to stage with the re-grab. And Max is doing everything he can. Now he's been bullied off stage, and this is where it starts to be a little bit of trouble. Yeah, he's forced to have to go low. He did have his jump still, trying to go for a ledge trump, catch him sleeping. And you see Nairo just holding his ground, trying to keep him at the ledge, and that's all she wrote. It's gonna be a 2-1 victory coming in from Nairo and Cosmos. Yeah, that rapid jab is such a good setup option. There's so much damage, and holds their, holds their opponent there yeah. forever for days. Nairo could have charged. Four smash, up smash. Yeah, again, with your back up against the wall like that, you're not going to get any drift off the rapid jab. Yeah. And Nairo could just walk up as slow as he wants, go buy himself a sandwich, and no, then get the forward <laughs> smash. 